Hey guys, Scott Chalinski, Modern Samurai Project. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, man. I've been traveling a lot doing the videos, but uh, thanks to social distancing, had a couple postponed, so thought I'd do a video for you guys. Um, if you can notice that this video today is brought to you by GreyHive.com. Um, can't come out and train with me, don't have the funds, quarantined, something like that. Join GreyHive.com. You've got great guys like myself, uh, Drew from Bear Solutions and Garrett from Cagworks. Uh, get your train on, super cheap to join, and uh, you get all the info as, long as, uh, as well as contact with us for your own individual questions and videos are released uh, almost every week, uh, a lot every month. So check it out, grayhive.com. That's grayhive with a E, not an A. So check it out. Anyway, uh, since we're all here kind of quarantined or social distancing or whatnot, so what a great time to work on our draw. Um, I've always said that dry fire is for skill acquisition and live fire is for confirmation of that skill. So what can we do to work on our draw and get rid of the useless frenetic motion? Uh, here's, a, here's a couple of things. Get your shot timer, put it on whatever you want to, right? Uh, whatever resonates with you. 1.5, 1.25, one second. Um, do you need a one second draw? You got a one second problem, you do. But here's the other thing. If you think a 1.25 second draw is good enough, what happens in a hypercritical dynamic situation and you have a 1.25 problem? Well, if you had a 1.25 draw in an air conditioned range or out on outside with your friends and no pressure whatsoever, what makes you think you're going to get that under pressure? So just something to think about, right? Uh, if you guys have seen my other videos, I routinely do this at 0.6. I get it about 50% of the time. Uh, why 0.6 and not why 0.7 to get it all the time? Because 0.7 doesn't drive me as much as 0.6. Uh, I do 0.6, then I go out to my classes, and I do demos in front of, you know, anywhere between 14 and 20 people, and I get 0.7x, 0.8 draws all the time. So you need to pick something that pushes you. But in the beginning, here's what you want to do. Pick whatever time resonates with you. Put a part time on your uh, shot timer. And uh, you're going to set it up. And you're going to say out loud what the uh, outcome of it was, especially if you have a red dot pistol, right? So the first one is going to be you're going to draw. It's going to go beep. You're going to get out the gun. And you're going to say got the dot and got the time. Well, I know uh, human perception is a horrible shot timer. That's all you have at this point, okay? Then the next one, uh, the next, op uh, the next uh, variation is, or observation is, beep, got the dot, didn't get the time, okay? And then the final one is, beep, didn't get anything, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you wanna upload it somewhere. If I think if you have a, uh, a Mac computer, you can put it in iMovie and slow it down to 25% and still hear the sounds. Uh, if you have a PC, unless you have expensive hardware, uh, you can't do anything but upload it to YouTube. So upload it to YouTube. Uh, you know, it's free to join, blah, 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 and upload your videos. Mark them private or unlisted so your friends can't troll you, okay? Uh, from there, you slow it down to 25%. You can still hear the sounds. At 25%, the beep, which is 0.3 in normal time, goes from beep to right? And from there, you can see your reaction time, you can see your grip, or you can see all the useless frenetic motion you're doing to not get the uh, dot and not get the time. So what does the first one look like, right? So I'm gonna kind of replicate what the first one, got the dot, got the time looked at with that longer beep. So the first one is got the dot, got the time. Okay, so we saw that, right? Reacted at the beginning of the beep, right? Got the good grip and everything. Head didn't move, shoulders didn't move. It was just hands and forearms getting the dot on target. The next one, got the dot but didn't get the time. Okay, so... Most of you should be chuckling right now because, but that's exactly what you do when you can't get close to a one second draw. The beep comes and goes. Mentally, I don't know what you're doing. You're probably asking like Houston for launch commands. They refer back, okay, to launch and you say affirmative and then you go. 
The first time you see yourself do that, react that slowly to the beat, you're going to want to punch yourself in the face, which is a good thing. Okay, so then the final thing is didn't get the dot, didn't get the time. Okay, so what was that? Reacted slow to the beep, right? And then threw in all the useless frenetic motion the shoulder to the ear, the IDF squat, the FPS push. No wonder you couldn't because you moved your eye line. It's the great thing about the dot, it goes where you're looking. What's the shitty thing about the dot? It goes where you're looking. And if you keep on moving your eye line because you want to be some tactical turtle superhero, uh, you're not going to find the dot. So anyway, just some things there. Try that. After you get the times, you know, after you see, watch the videos, go back and uh, do it again. And watch now because it's your idea and your observation how you get better immediately, right now. Not 10,000 reps slowly and smoothly in the corner right now. And then when you get it, drop it, point one. And then when you get that, drop it, another point one, to the point where you're so refined, nothing is moving except that which is necessary, the dot is there, and you start burning it down. That being said, guys, hey, thanks. If you like these free videos, check it out. Subscribe, like, hit that bell thing so you know when videos pop up. I'll have more of these when I get time along with my podcasts. Uh, and if you dug it, again, check out grayhive.com. Man, a lot of great information out there. Hopefully, I'll see you out on the range. But more importantly than anything, be good, stay safe, get training.